The DevExpress Project Wizard for Silverlight is built to simplify the integration of the DevExpress suite of Silverlight controls into your next project. Once you start using it, you'll find that adding DevExpress controls to your application is fast, straightforward, and highly customizable. So let's get started. We'll begin by creating a new Silverlight DX Project Wizard. Remove the check mark from the option to host the Silverlight application in a new website and click OK. The DX Project Wizard allows for the selection of components to be included in a new project. The Themes page lists available application themes. Here we'll select the 7 theme. Select the Ribbon and Toolbar System category to continue application customization. Here we'll select a ribbon control for the command area and an Office 2010 ribbon style. Selecting the simple ribbon populates the ribbon with one page of controls. Select the docking and layout category to choose a layout for docked panels and controls. Here we'll leave the default IDE docking interface unchanged. Placing a check by the data grid category adds a grid control to the application and drops us into the data grid customization window. By default, there are two data representation styles, the standard grid layout for tabular data or the tree list layout for hierarchical data. Placing a check by the navbar category drops us into the navbar customization menu and automatically selects a navigation pane view for the newly created control. Placing a check by the charting category invokes graph customization settings on the XY 2D diagram type. Bringing up the Series View drop-down list, we can choose a series representation style. We choose the 2D scatter line view style. Placing a check by the Gauge category invokes the Gauge customization menu. The usual circular, linear, and digital gauges are available here. We'll choose a 14-segment digital gauge. And we select Create Project to close the DX Project Wizard and generate a new Silverlight application. The designer displays the generated UI according to our chosen options. And that's it. Let's run the application to see the results. The ribbon control is displayed at the top of the page. The command region is automatically populated with menu icons. Controls are grouped into panels. Here, we can see the bound data rows in the tabbed grid views. Below it, our chart control is bound to the series representation of the same data. Note, the nav bar can be invoked from the auto hidden dock panel on the left. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.